I find it's often faster to grab a tool at hand than to look for that specialty tool that needs to be, might need to be sharpened or need to be adjusted correctly. And that's quite often why I go ahead and grab a flat bench chisel for the task at hand. The flat bench chisel is a very simple tool and very versatile. I can do rough work with it. I can do finish work with it. Um, I always have a couple of them around, and here's why. When it comes to fitting tenons, uh, whether they're cut by hand or by machine, I always leave a little bit to pair to uh, so that I can fit the tenon into the mortise. Um, generally, if you don't have a tool at hand, the flat bench chisel works great for this. And when we do the fitting, we always do the cheeks first and the shoulders last. So why don't you sneak up and take a close look at how I handle that. Scribe where the cheeks meet the shoulders with the corner of the chisel. Place the chisel into the scribe line along the edge and pair halfway across the tenon. Then come in from the other end and finish it off. The scribe line along the end grain works as a guide to keep you cutting straight. Next, tackle the shoulders. Place the chisel in the scribe shoulder line and start with a narrow cut about an eighth of an inch wide, making sure that the cut is square. Now place the flat chisel back on the first cut at an angle so that the corner of the chisel will re-register in the scribe line. Straighten the chisel as you push the blade into the waist. In this way, each cut guides the next. Small cuts are preferred here. Chisels are great for chamfering the ends of tenons as well. A quick hit of the handle and slide the chisel up to cut with the grain. That's all it takes. Lower the chisel handle and use a skew cut to pair off a nice chamfer. Now I'd like to show you how we set hinges. One thing is that we don't use these things around here. After scribing your hinge location with a marking knife and a cutting gauge, make a cut with the chisel perpendicular to the workpiece. Now hold the chisel at 45 degrees, bevel up, and strike the handle with a mallet using quick controlled blows, going all the way down along the mortise line. Drag the chisel up into the scribe line and push in for the final depth of cut. Chop the ends right to the scribe line, clean up those corners, and you'll be done. Be sure to check the scribe line is parallel to the face and pair that as necessary as well. Poor little guy. Hope I didn't hurt your feelings.